Today we're going to take a look at the Radeon 5870. This is the high-end video card from the year 2009 and also the first DirectX 11 GPU. We're going to take a look how well this thing was able to handle gaming over the course of 10 years. Our test player from today is the Asus P9X79 motherboard, Xeon E5-1660 CPU, 32GB of DDR3 memory and the Radeon 5870. We start with the most important question of any video card review. Can it run Crisis? 1920x1080 resolution 4x anti-aliasing and the very high graphics quality preset. So we're running around in the uh, Korean jungle. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Just trying to signal for help. Oh, uh, here comes another one. Here comes another one. What's he going to do? Shoot me? No, no. He's going to try and signal for help. And he failed. Let's see, who else? Who else would want to signal for help? Anybody. Look at that guy. Look at that. No, failed also. So anyway, we're getting about uh, 30 to 35 frames per second. Mostly uh, smooth gameplay overall. GPU is loaded 99%. Memory usage basically uh, 1 gigabyte. So yes, it's uh, it's playable. You can play Crisis. Uh, by the way, I'm running in Windows in a windowed mode because of a bug in Crisis that sets the uh, wrong refresh rate. And if you're recording video, it's going to give you the wrong video frame rate. So uh, once again, Crisis, even on a modern system that can easily run it at maxed out settings, Crisis continues to be a pain in the ass. So um, yeah, let's let's blow some stuff up. Borderlands, 1920 by 1080 resolution, all the graphical settings maxed out. You're playing the role of a treasure hunter on an alien planet with a very cool looking cell shaded graphic style and we're on a quest to save the planet. But just kidding, you're actually on a quest to collect as much loot as you can possibly fit into your backpack. And uh, you can see that the game is capped at around 62 frames per second. And the Radeon 5870 has no sweat whatsoever uh, handling the game. Just smooth 62 frames per second all the way. Stalker, call a Pripyat, running in 1920 by 1080 resolution with the maximum graphical quality preset. We're out taking a stroll doing some sightseeing, enjoying nature, nice clean fresh radioactive air and you can hear some somebody having an armed conflict somewhere let's see yes yes here's here's the vicious dogs that take about 20 bullets from AK-47 to put down and uh, yep yep just uh, empty one magazine Let's see, yep, yep, about emptying a second magazine right now. Uh, so yeah, 40, 48 to 52 frames per second, smooth gameplay, no problem whatsoever. Civilization 5, 1920 by 1080, 4x anti-aliasing, all the graphic settings on high. So we're pretty late in the game, we've explored all the world we've conquered a good chunk of it to our empire and we're just looking around exploring thinking what to do next a nice frame rate about high 60s to low 70s GPU usage 99 percent mm, what to do I think maybe maybe we'll launch some nukes to test the frame rate let's see honest I'm just testing frame rates I'm not trying to start a war I just want to test my video card. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Oh, look at that nice fireworks. Look at that. Frame rate drops into the 40s and even the high 30s. So, yeah. Yep. Nice test. Yes, we can go back as we were. Just uh, peacefully coexisting. I'm sure that will happen any minute now. Skyrim. We're playing at 1920 by 1080 ultra graphical quality preset and we also turned on all the reflections as a bonus. 
So we're taking a stroll through one of the cities, enjoying some nice uh, architecture and scenery. Uh, the frame rate is steady 60 frames per second. I think the game has a cap of 60 FPS. So the GPU usage is only about 40 to 50 percent, but we're still getting 60 frames per second. So uh, no sweat whatsoever, completely playable. Let's take a nice view of nature. And uh, oh, look at that. We got a frame rate drop into the 40s. So sometimes you may get drops below 60. Fast forward to 2015, and now we have games like The Witcher 3, much more demanding games that uh, we're going to be using the low graphics quality preset this time. Still 1920 by 1080 resolution, and also the low post processing preset. Let's get on a high horse and go testing frame rates in the center of Novigrad, the most demanding area of the game. And you can see we're getting frame rate mostly in the high 20s, low 30s. Uh, smooth, smooth gameplay overall as we're pushing unsuspecting citizens out of the way with our horse. Uh, but yeah, and uh, in other parts of the game, like the field is going to be uh, less demanding and you're going to get even higher frame rate. So GPU usage about 97%. Frame rate is steady at around 30, so perfectly playable on the Radeon 5870. GTA 5 DirectX 11 mode 1920 by 1080 resolution and all the other settings set to low or off or normal, whichever one is lower. So we're out for our spin on our infamous white Dodge Charger clone automobile terrorizing the local neighborhood, smashing the cars who just happen to be obstacles in our way. And uh, let's see, we're getting a nice solid 60 to 70 frames per second. Uh, very smooth gameplay. GPU is loaded at 98%, but no sweat whatsoever for the Radeon 5870. Let's, uh, let's catch some speed, see if we can uh, do something exciting with a car. Uh, that looks like a nice ramp up there. Let's catch some air. Nice view. 70 frames per second. What? We got wasted. How did that happen? That never happened before. Fallout 4. 1920 by 1080 using the low graphics quality preset. We got some hostile aircraft. Let's see if we can bring them down to our level. Ah, oh, look at that. It's terrible. Can't hit the broad side of a helicopter today. Let's try it again. That's better. That's more like it. Look at those fireworks. So um, even with a screen full of explosions, we're uh, we're still managing about 30 frames per second with the Radeon 5870. Uh, GPU is loaded at about 98, 99%. Video memory usage is completely full, but still maintaining playable frame rates. Let's keep walking to a super mutant camp. See, the super mutants, they survived the apocalypse and they think they are the future. Well, I, as a human, I find that offensive. So we're going to teach them a little lesson about who's the future. Uh, yeah, that's something like that. Uh, let's see, any more super mutants? Who else thinks they are the future? Anyone over there? Anyone? Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, between 30 and 40 frames per second. And uh, the other thing you gotta notice is that even at low graphics quality settings, the game still looks decent. So it's not like uh, the old days where low low graphics settings means ridiculously ugly, blocky objects, blurry textures. You could you could keep the rate in 5870. Uh, and play Fallout 4 on it, and uh, it wouldn't be wouldn't be too much trouble. Doom, 1920 by 1080 resolution, low graphics quality settings. 
We are out on planet Mars doing some demon hunting. And uh, we're getting about 30 frames per second. You can see occasionally it stutters below 30 frames per second. Uh, but for the most part, it actually feels um, surprisingly smooth for running only about 30, 35 frames per second. Rise of Tomb Raider. 1920 by 1080 resolution and we're going to be using the lowest graphics quality preset. We are located in the geothermal valley. This is basically the most demanding area of the game and you can see we're getting nice solid between uh, 40 and 50 frames per second so completely playable on the Radeon 5870. GPU usage about 96% and I gotta say the game looks pretty good even in low settings so not too bad hold on a second I don't like the way that pumpkin looked we're gonna make pumpkin soup out of you and you too you too there you go pumpkin soup for everyone so pretty good performance for a rating 5 and 70 next up we got Deus Ex Mankind Divided Another game from 2016 using 1920 by 1080 resolution and the low graphics quality preset. You're all set to go explore the city of Prague at about 30 frames per second, but as you start walking, you notice that it is not smooth. There's a very, very noticeable pausing and uh, jerking about once every second, so uh, it is um, not enjoyable at this kind of performance and as you go into more demanding area the frame rate drops even lower into the low 20s and sometimes even under 20 so even at lowest settings 1920 by 1080 resolution it would not be enjoyable on a Radeon 5870 Far Cry 5 1920 by 1080 resolution using the low graphics preset We're walking through the woods, enjoying nature, getting a smooth, solid 23 frames per second, which is not great. It, it feels surprisingly smooth for being only in the low 20s, but still, you're just walking around, nothing's happening right now, and you're only getting performance in the low 20s. So when the action starts, it's going to drop even lower. But don't get too excited because here comes the latest game from 2018, Shadow of Tomb Raider. We're not even going to try for 1080p, go straight to 720p and the lowest setting with everything disabled. And they were not kidding when they called it Shadow of Tomb Raider. We got nothing but shadows. This is not a video bug. This is how it actually looks. You can hear the sound, the audio from the game in the background, but nothing shows up on screen so no amount of tweaking or lowering settings is gonna fix this problem this is pretty much the end of the line for the Radian 5870 so as we've seen during the first three or four years this Radian 5870 would have been laughing at any game you throw at it and even during the next three to four years you would have still be able to play games using low settings or low resolution but towards the end of 2018, that would have basically been the end of the line and no amount of tweaking settings or various drivers would have helped to get this thing running some of the latest games out there. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.